I'm going to go back to your thing. You started with crony capitalism. I mean, you didn't say those words, but that's yeah. really what we're talking about. Is 100%. that 100%. Okay, okay. Don't 100%. Yell at, <laughs> don't yell at me. You'll get your applause break in a minute. I feel uh, a nice, I feel a nice bar fight breaking yeah, out Jesus here. Christ. I'm not defending it. <laughs> yes. Uh, but I would defend capitalism. I feel like there's a flirtation mm -hmm. now on the left because people don't read history. They don't know what happened before. They just live by mm -hmm. slogans. And they don't understand <laughs> communism. We tried it. It wasn't that long ago, just too long ago, if you have that idea in your head, well, I wasn't alive for it, so I shouldn't know about it. <laughs> well, maybe you should, right. because we did try it. And it's, I would say communism is worse than crony capitalism. Even crony capitalism is better than communism. Mm -hmm. Would you agree with that, Professor? <laughs> Capitalism is hands down the best system of its kind. What young people are seeing today, it's not capitalism. We have rugged individualism on the way up, and then we have we're all in this together on the way down, and we have socialism. Capitalism on the way up, where five CEOs of airline companies make 150 million bucks, use all their excess cash flow to buy back stocks so they can artificially inflate their own compensation, and then shit gets real and a pandemic comes, and they don't have any money, and all of a sudden, we're in this together. When you have capitalism on the way up, and you have socialism on the way down, I'm not done yet, and then you have socialism on the way down, that's not capitalism or socialism, it is cronyism. It is the worst of all worlds. Capitalism, capitalism is full body contact violence at a corporate level so we can create prosperity and progress that rests on a bed of empathy. We have flipped the script here. We need to be more loving and empathetic with people and more harsh on companies. Yeah. Capitalism, we are protecting, we should be protecting people, not companies. Fucking Delta, burn, baby, burn. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. I would... <laughs> Bill, you got a ring here in here this week. <laughs> I would. <laughs> I would like to make a prediction right now. Before this show is over, sir, you will be the governor of New York State, I believe, because... I second that prediction, sir. <laughs> They're looking for one, and we know you got the speech ready. Let's start... Let... Bill, I'll, I'll just say... Yes, sir. My opinion on those things is sometimes we make too much out of definitions, you know, and these things can be debated philosophically and that sort of thing. But in the practical, like, for instance, capitalism isn't even in our Constitution. That word that isn't in the Constitution. Right. You know, but our country, since I would say Teddy Roosevelt, we've expanded what capitalism and the government's role in trade is, you know. And during the New Deal, we redefined the government's role with the person, you know, the, with Social Security. The government can, can intervene directly with people, you know. And since then, we've had... Not a pu we've never had a pure form of capitalism for a good 150 years. You okay, know? but it's always been expanding and redefining itself. Right. And now, with uh, the payments, with the stimulus payments, once again, we're expanding the role of government and how how people feel about that role of the government directly in people's lives. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, but again, just to... I got my own applause. Just to, just... You see that, Bill? I got my own applause. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. <laughs> <laughs>